Hey guys, welcome to part two of kinematics rotation questions. Here we will be discussing two important concepts, and we will be doing two questions in which one each concept will be explained. So in question number one, we are given two points that is A U V W, which is given as four comma three comma two, and B U V W six comma two comma four. U V W here means the reference frame, the frame that we are using. and we have to determine the corresponding points that is a x y and z and b x y and z with respect to the reference coordinate system if it has been rotated 60 degree about the oz axis so an important formula that you should be knowing over here is that if we have to find a x y z and it is being it has been rotated about say z axis about an angle theta and then we will have we will multiply it by u v w then we will get our a x y z so this is an important formula that you should always remember that whenever you have to find a x y z whenever you have to find a x y z then you will have to multiply u pre uh, post multiply a u v w by r z theta so according to the question a u v w is given to us r z theta is given to us that is theta is 60 degree and you have to rotate it about the o z axis and we have to find a x y z so now let us continue with our question that is in order to find a x y z we will first write the rotational matrix for z comma theta that is cos theta minus sin theta sin theta cos theta 0 0 1 0 0 and we will multiply it it by a u v w which is given in the question that is 4 3 and 2 and here you will put the value of theta as 60 degrees so on doing so You will get the value of this matrix as 0.5 minus 0.8660, 0.8660, and then we will multiply this by 4, 3, and 2. Now, on doing that, you will get the value as minus 0.598, 4.9. Six four two point zero. So this is your value of a x y z. This is your final answer of the first part of the question. We have found out a y z, a x y z. Now we have to find out b x y z. Now the similar uh, similar procedure will be followed. That is for b x y z also. You will write r z theta that will be rotated by. Then we will multiply it by u v and w. Now U B U V N W is given. R Z theta is given. We have to find B X Y Z. That is the similar matrix will be used over here. That is the same thing will be used. That is this part. So we will simply copy it over here also. That is 0.5 minus 0.8660, 0.8660, 0.50, 0.0 and 1. Now B U V W is also given us to in the question itself. That is six two four. That is six two and four will be multiplied by it. Now in doing so, you will get the final answer as one point two six eight, six point one nine eight, six sorry six point one nine six, and four point zero. So this is your answer of B X Y Z. So now this is an easy part. As we we straight away had to find X Y Z A X Y Z. And R Z theta and A U V W is given. Now in the second part, it is a little bit different from this one. That is now A X Y Z will be given to us, and this R Z theta will also be given to us. But now we will have to find U V and W. Now in order to find U V and W, we will take R Z theta on the L H S. So in order to do so, we will get R inverse z comma theta a x y z is equal to a u u v and w. Now R inverse in this coordinate rotational coordinate system it can also be written as R T that is R transpose. That is here we will simply take the transpose of z theta rotational matrix and multiply it by a x y z and we will get the value of u v and w. so this is an important formula that you should remember 
This is an important formula to remember. So now let us do a question on it. That is question number two. Now in this question, in this question we are given a x y z that is four three and two, and b x y z is also given. That is six comma two comma four transpose, and we have to find. We have to find a u v w, and b u v w. Such that it is rotated about the OZ axis by an angle of 60 degrees. The question is exactly the same. The only difference is that now we are finding a u v w, and a x y z is given. Whereas in the previous question, a x y z was given, and we had to find u v w. So uh, sorry, in the previous question, a u v w was given, and we had to find a x y z. So now we have to do the opposite. We will be finding a u v w and b u v w. So the formula as discussed above is just a minute. I'll change the color. The question, the formula above discussed above was a u v w is equal to r z comma sixty transpose into a x y and z. So everything is same. Just the difference is that now we will be taking the transpose of r z theta. That is now we will get zero. First, let me write the general form. That is cos theta minus sine theta, sine theta, cos theta, zero, zero, one, zero, zero. Now I haven't done the uh, translation till now. I have to still do it. So I'll write the t over here. Now I am on doing the transpose of this matrix. We will get cos theta minus sine theta zero, sine theta, cos theta zero, and zero, zero, one. And we will write uh, the value of x, y, z, a, x, y, z, which is given to us. That is four, three, and two. Now we will write the value of theta as 60 degree as given in the question. On doing so, on doing so, you will get 0.5, 0.8660 minus 0.8660.5010. And we will simply multiply it by four, three, and two. And from here we will get u, v, and w. That is on multiplying this, you will get four point five nine eight minus one point nine six four and two point zero. So this is your final answer of the first part. We still have to find b, u, v, w. That is, we have found a u v w. We have to still have to find b u v w. b u v w is b x y z is given to us, and we will use this formula in order to find out the value of b u v w. That is, b u v w is equal to r z theta, and it's transposed into b x y and z. This is the important formula. You should remember this in order to solve the questions. And always remember that what you have been asked to find out. If you have been asked to find out u v w, then you will take the transpose. Uh, on the other hand, if you have been asked to find out x y z, then you will not take the transpose. Now, in order to find b, we will simply write the transpose of r z theta. That is 0.5, 0.8660 minus 0.8660 and 0.5. 0001, and we have b x y z as 6, 2, and 4. Now, on multiplying this, you will get 4.732 minus 4.196 and 4.0. So this is your value of b u v w. So there are two important formulas that we have to learn in this question. The concept is that the first formula is. If we have to find a, x, y, and z, we will use r, z, 60 or theta. Sorry, theta. Anything can be given over here. That is, it can be r, x, theta, r, y, theta, and r, z, theta. I am just taking z, theta for reference. So, and here we will write a, u, v, w. So this is your first formula in order to find a, x, y, z. And the second formula is that we have to find a, u, v, and w. In order to find that, we will write r z theta, its transpose, multiplied by a x y and z. Similarly, the same formulas are used for b also. So this is the concept that I wanted to show you. I wanted to discuss. 
and i hope it is clear to you this concept is important and please do not forget to take the transpose whenever you have to find out a u v w so i hope you were able to do it and if you were able to understand it just write wow in the comment section it would be great to know that you were able to understand it and this is it for this video see you in the next one